to bring it back to ayahuasca. Like even Roy did that, ayahuasca at the place I did, I did half, ayahuasca. I did half he did a half. It's a two day half ceremony. Of, Roy did one. I fucking dipped. That shit was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone, bro. It, 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 it wasn't laugh. scary. It was just a lot to take in. Well, you said it was like a bunch of. It was like too many people t- talking at a barbecue at a family barbecue. Yeah. Or some kind of family function. Yeah. It was like being in a room. Because there were a lot of people there at the yeah. ceremony or whatever. But then in your head, it's just too many fucking people talking. Was it people that you hadn't, that you like forgot you knew kind of thing? Yeah. I think like it aunties was just, and uncles? Yeah, but it was just more visualizations of them just multiple visualizations of people and things and people you love and people you miss and stuff like that and then having the realization in the moment that oh i just i want love i want my son to know love i have to in order for my son to know love he has to see love so if I'm gonna if I'm gonna show him love, I I need to fucking be in love. I need to fuck. Oh shit! I have to fucking be with somebody. I gotta be in love. Okay, well, what were my examples of love? And now we're right back to the day he was born. Well, what was my father's example? How did my father show me love? And then I think back and I think back to all of the moments that he had with the other woman and not my mom. And I'm like, oh fuck. He was in love. For as much as 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 much like as he I wouldn't can, have stayed with her if he wasn't in love. Like what you know about him. Divorcing my mom, whatever, you know, that could be its own. That's a separate thing. But my father loved that woman who he's buried next to. And when I go back and like when I like if we're just talking, just thinking about, okay. My job as a father is to prepare my son for the world, period, full stop. That is my only purpose on earth right now, is to prepare him for life without me. Love is one of those things he will have to figure out how to navigate, so I need to show him love. All right, what examples of love have I seen so far? Okay, my aunt, my, I got an aunt and an uncle. They always sneak in fucking family functions. Check, all right? But that will save that. My dad, oh, shit. He checked the homework. He went to the practices. They had the food. Oh, shit, that's love. It wasn't nothing personal. Right. It's just who he loved. Yeah. And it was complicated. Of course it's complicated when you're on your 11th <laughs> fucking child. Yes, there are, there are hurdles to having wrinkle-free yes. happiness. He had challenges. But, yes. <laughs> so... That realization, but then you have to first love yourself. And so then that's where the journey of, okay, well, what do I want? What makes me happy? What do I want to do? Because you can't meet nobody while you fucking, like how somebody gonna make you happy, you ain't happy with you. Right. So you gotta start with you first. So you gotta rebuild. So you start with that shit. So it's a little bit of that. And then the other revelation I had was everything I've ever wanted to do, like I've felt indebted to my mom for all of the sacrifices that she's made. And it's nothing she's ever asked. She's never held shit over my head. But I look and I go, oh, I just want my mom to not have to work so hard. I love my mom. Hmm. Everything I've ever done was just so I wouldn't be a burden on her. That's why I was busting my ass so that she wouldn't have to worry about me. It's a fucking great feeling for your mom. And I don't know if she would admit this, but I remember when I paid off my student loans. Finally, I don't know. When I made my last student loan payment, there was a weird relief from her. Right. You know, she like, acknowledged well, it? Yeah. She was like, oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you finally got, like, 
Like I could tell she was smiling yeah. even. You know, moms worry. So to always be able to put her in a position where she doesn't have to worry about me, like that's a gift. And like, it's like, oh, everything was just about letting my mom know I'm okay. Is that why I work so hard? <laughs> And then yeah. I woke up the next morning and was like, fuck this shit. I'm <laughs> going back to New York. Like, you have those two revelations within a six yeah. hour span? Yeah. I'm straight on night two, bro. Yeah. I don't need to ever do it again. Like, I don't know how, like, the people who do the ayahuasca, oh, every weekend, I've yeah, done yeah, it yeah. 20 times. Yeah. I, you might be in a different space. Yeah. For me, I'm good, bro. I got what I needed. I will return to drinking old fashions with extra orange. Well, but I would Man, also recommend Santos. you for being willing because you're not mentally unwell. Like you're like pretty from the outside in, even in th like, I think I know you pretty well. I think you're like pretty even you're like doing, you're all right. Yeah. You know? So the fact that you will go to therapy the fact that you will drink ayahuasca, the fact that you will like tune into yourself is, is admirable. Even realizing like squeezing your baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like even like, e even a t being a I can tell you never held a baby. To, the way how like, do you do it? Like this? You, yeah. you bring them up here it's vertical. It's like a log. You heard that baby um, vertical. Well, I'm not going to do this <laughs> to illustrate a goddamn point. I've held 10 babies um, in my life. I'll have you know. <laughs> it's just a cool. It's like a cool thing that, like, culturally, it's not. It's like kind of, you know, like it's getting cooler. But you, yeah. you I give you this. I salute you for trying. But but the, the bigger one is tuning into yourself. More than, like, doing activities, therapy, ayahuasca, whatever. It's being actually tuning into yourself and actually like, what do I want? Yeah. It's a hard thing to, it's the most obvious question in the world. And it's like the one that people ask it as an afterthought. Yeah. Yeah. Once I get this sugar out of my system this month, I'm going to be a fucking beast. I get so much clarity when there's like no coffee in my bloodstream for like two, three weeks. And I'm like, that's when I'm like, oh. I see the matrix code, bitch. Like, yeah. Like, so, yeah. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high-pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen. <laughs>